It is raining in Houston and we are loving it. I don't know how well you can see this on the screen. I put it on the, the, the uh, back fence because it's kind of dark so hopefully you can see some of the rain. It's not a downpour. Uh, it's uh, consistent. It's been consistent for well, probably uh, an hour or two now. So I wanted to give you an update on the rainwater retention system and what exactly what's going on. So here's my neighbors and there is her roof line right there. She's got her gutter just running on this one side of her roof. So it's a, a two-story two house. And she, so she's got her rain gutter on her north side. And uh, here is her setup right here. It's working great. You can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but at the end of that first flush system, it's dripping, which is uh, how we have it set up. So after the rain's all over, it'll empty itself. But on the other side is the uh, runoff, the overflow. So let's go, oh, by the way, I painted this the other day. She went and bought some paint, and so I painted it. I think it looks great. She matched it to her siding, so it looks good. So let's, uh, but what, what I want to show you is the the amount of water she's getting and how quickly she's getting it from just one gutter on the side of her house. Okay, so looking over the fence, you can see the overflow there. And it's coming out just as we had it intended it to come out. Uh, I just went over and timed it and she's getting a gallon of water every 70 seconds. One gallon of fresh rain water already pre-flushed with the first flush system coming into her holding tanks there. A gallon of water every 70 seconds. That's pretty good. If you imagine if uh, water got real expensive or um, you just couldn't get water, it'd be nice to get this water coming off your, your roof a gallon every 70 seconds. Let's take a look at mine. Okay, this is my house here and I have my rain gutter running from the front of the house. You can see I have one downspout in the front. So it's gonna catch some of the water and go down uh, that route, uh, down to this uh, uh, gutter on the front of the house which they don't catch, or catch any water on. But I've got one spout in the middle of the, the, the center of the roof and the uh, gutter runs all the way from front to back. So I have a, a bigger surface area than she does. And let's take a look at the, at the runoff here. All right, as you can tell, I have not yet painted my PVC, but that is uh, certainly something I'm going to be doing. And here's my runoff right here. So we're getting a really good runoff. And you can see I've got a one gallon bucket there and a funnel. And I'm going to go ahead and time to see how much uh, fresh rainwater I'm getting per minute. Okay, since I'm here by myself, I'm, I'm going to have to set the camera up on, on some bricks here. And start timing here. So hopefully you can see this. I've got a uh, zero timer on my on my timer here. I'm going to take this one gallon milk carton, put this funnel in here, and we're going to see how long it takes to get to one gallon of, of water. Here we go and go. I hope I don't ruin this phone. Okay. Um, because of the angle, we're getting some water running out of the back of the funnel. But uh, that's fine. This water is coming out just crystal clear. Again, it's come down through the first flush system. Okay, we've got over, uh, over. Okay, we got over a half a gallon. It's kind of coming out. Okay, so we're over. So in about 35 seconds is what it took to get a, get a gallon of water from this uh, first flush system. I think it, co it cost me one time to build the system and from here on out, every time it rains, I'm gonna get fresh water. So I'm very happy with it. Everything is be working well. It's, uh, I, you could probably hear the rain. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy with it, how everything's working. I do wanna show you one modification. I did. Uh, someone suggested on the internet to drill 1 8 inch holes into the end of the uh, first flush system, but I don't, <laughs> it doesn't work well because you get this great big geyser here. 
and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. So you're losing a lot of water. In fact, I couldn't even get the uh, the uh, overflow to go. It wouldn't even overflow because so much water was coming out of those two little eighth-inch holes. So I would not recommend that. I would recommend you know tightening this down almost all the way, and then maybe it's a, a quarter turn or so until you get a little bit of drip. I like my neighbors, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting epoxy in here and, and uh, filling up those holes there. But I just wanted to show you the quality of the water. Actually, I have a, uh, another pitcher of water. This is the second pitcher of water I've gotten today. I'm going to show you the quality of the water with the pitcher I, I got in the house. They're really happy so far. Okay, here's the pitcher of water. I got out of the rainwater system. I actually have it in here because I have some family coming over. We're going to watch uh, some Glenn Beck this afternoon. But uh, this is how clear it is. I have it in here to see if there's any settling, settling of, of anything. There's nothing settling in here. It looks crystal. I haven't tasted it. You know, it's probably going to taste like drinking out of the hose because it is coming off of the roof. And you certainly could filter it. But before filtering it, I just thought I'd, I'd do a sample test just to see what it would taste like. But anyway, if you're considering putting up uh, uh, water cubes using the 275 or 330 gallon totes, I highly recommend it. It's working very well. It's capturing the water perfectly, just as designed. Could not be happier with it. Please watch the uh, rainwater retention system uh, series and uh, get this set up for you. You never know when you need water. Well, let's give this uh, rainwater a test. So, I thought since I'm doing a video on how much rainwater we're getting and and actually drinking it, might as well taste it here. And so, initial reaction looks good. Uh, yep, looks good. All right, let's see if this tastes like the asphalt roof or the rain, uh, fresh rain water or the garden hose. Ah, actually, wow, that's quite good. Actually, quite good. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. There is a little taste to it. Of course, it doesn't taste anything like tap water. It doesn't have any of the processing involved in it. So none, of, none of those uh, fluoride or chlorine tastes or whatever you might get in your faucet. Absolutely. Wow. People people pay for this good this water. This is actually amazing tasting water. This is outstanding. We have a expensive water filter here in our house. I just replaced this uh, a couple days ago. I ordered a, a new water filter to replace this because they don't make this anymore. I replaced this with the Zen water filter off Amazon. I'll give you a link below and I'll do a review of that product once it's, it's uh, delivered here. But the, the reason why this water filter is so expensive is because it actually goes through a, a system where it goes through rocks and other things to give it more of a natural spring type of a flavor. And this water here, right from the sky, right off my roof, Tastes better than what I'm paying out of the water filter. One more taste here. Yeah, that's a winner. That is absolutely amazing. Again, feel free if you want to to filter that water, but for me in my house, wow, I think that's just good as it is. Now, of course, I'm sure there's could be nasties in there. They don't. They don't have any flavor, so don't worry about commenting about that and. Yes, uh, like I said, it's up to you. You filter it if you want, and we, we will hear if, if my wife wants to, but I'm telling you, that is great tasting water. Rainwater. Couldn't be better. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear.